Hi guys, welcome to this session on Microsoft Excel. In this module, I want to show you how you can create shared views. So what I mean is you may have an online file where multiple people are working in the file and somebody does a filter while you're looking at a file and that filter will be applied to you and you will see what they're looking at. With these views, you sheet views they're called, you can create your own view which will not affect other users so you're basically looking at it in isolation they're looking at all the data or they're looking at their own view if they've created a view themselves so the feature is on the view tab and it's called sheet view and you can see it here now it's all grayed out at the moment because this particular file is not shared so once I share this file this will become active and then you can create new views so let's just share this if I click on share I'll share it to myself I'll call it test 2 okay and then it will ask me to share it and I can send this I'll send this to myself send so whoever gets this email will um, be able to see this link and use this link so there is the link test 2 open the link and then I'll get the online version of it through the link just wait for that to open and while that's opening I'll go back down to will it open then I'll go back down to the the desktop version get rid of that and let's put a filter on and save a sheet view so filter so when I go now to view you'll notice that these are open so I'm going to go new and I'll call this my view so this is going to be my view so I've created my view and let's do a filter on this one so let's say my view is just going to be um, grade a o so I'll take that off a o okay now if I go to the online version and go to the view tab um, got default view there um, my view so I've still got that view available and you can see it's selecting it there now if I go back to the default it brings it all back and if I come back onto the desktop I can go back to the default view as well and it brings it back now if I do a different one so if I go new view again and this time I'll go for equal ops so I'll take everything off equal ops so I want to look at equal ops and I'll keep and call it equal ops and then I'll go back to the default so there's the default and then drop the arrow down then equal ops there's equal ops, drop the arrow down, default, drop the arrow down again and go my view. So the idea is you can create as many of these views as you want and then somebody could be looking at, for example, if I go to view and equal ops in this desktop version and then go online, online is still looking at the default. Uh, you can see where I am but I'm looking at the default I'm not looking at the same equal ops as the desktop person is and then uh, you've got the other options to bring it back if you want so you are not interfering with other users so that's the whole point of creating these views and obviously you can create as many views as you want or need without going a bit over the top um, but if you find yourself clashing with somebody this is what you can do create a view save your view and then you quickly get back to that and away you go and you're not affecting anybody else if you need to delete a view you can go into options click on the one you want to get rid of so in this case i'll get rid of my view delete delete and then switch to you have to switch to a view so i'll switch to that view and then i'll go back and take the you know, clear the filter off so basically that's a quick look at how to create your own views in a shared 
document so that's the key it has to be shared otherwise that'll all be grayed out this will be grayed out shared and off with office 365 so hopefully that was of use thank you for your time and i'll see you on the next one